right, to uh, repair the tail gear or the main gear assembly we will need one Phillips screwdriver and one needle nose plier set preferably a small hobby set so that it's easier to handle with tiny parts and let's get on with it and this is the repair of a Walkira V120 D02 In this session, I'm going to be repairing the front gears at the very front of the tail boom. Well, let's commence by removing the canopy. Pull these two apart. It's out and slide it out. And it will unlock from this here. And that's that. And now we will flip it. Underneath, we've got to get to these four screws that are there. This is my first video of the Walkira V120, so please don't uh, critique the uh, director's footage here. This is a rookie recording. Remove these four screws here. Zoom this in a little more, see if we can get better. This. I've magnetized my screwdriver, my Phillips screwdriver head, so that I am able to do this. And it won't fall off. Get to these other two screws here. for this last screw here on the landing skid. And uh, that should allow me to remove the landing skid. Remove 
like this. Well, something that I wanted to point out was that these screws from the struts are longer and thinner thread. than the ones that come off of the landing skids and the head on these screws are a little bigger. So it's kind of hard to see. And uh, compared to these, just make sure you don't confuse them when putting everything back together. And that's just one pointer I had on these screws. Keep track of your screws. They're all bits of different sizes and lengths. Don't confuse them or you will create some damage. And you are responsible for it. Anyway, after removing the Langdon skid screws and the uh, support strut screws, you can also remove these little carbon fiber rods Let's unscrew it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take that little screw out of there. And that's it for removing that part. thing will be working on the gear removing the pin that's in there all right we're going to be taking out that little pin that's right there And it's good to have handy set of needle nose pliers. Various sizes will do. This one is great for me. So let's see how much luck I have with this. Okay, that slipped right out. Put that aside. And I'll take it from here. All right, we're going to take off the main gear. And sometimes you just have to work it out some. And it comes out holding. I am holding the head. Like so. Making sure I don't bend anything. And then let's wind this shot out some. And I'm just going to pull in this pull away while twisting the main gear at the same time. Okay, and it comes right off. Easy peasy Japanesey. Put that away. Check. Make sure we don't have any stripped gears on the uh, main shaft. It's on the main gear itself. And just remember that this is the flat side. This is the side that goes towards the bottom of the helicopter. And this is the side with the gears. This goes towards the inside part of the heli. And we are replacing a tail boom shaft front gear here.